Alright, this is Death Johnson with the first playthrough I'm ever going to do, so it's Paper Mario, my playthrough's not going to be very good, seeing as it's my first one, but I'll try, at least. It's probably going to be a lot of points where I'm not saying anything, though. But when I have something to say, I'll say it. Party, eh? I'll go. Parties are awesome. Just gonna turn the volume down. This part, if if not all of it, most of it will be just the introduction didn't really time the introduction so might take one part, two parts, one and a half part. Well it's definitely probably gonna be two or three parts before chapter one starts. Anyway, usually I talk to all these people, but now I'm not going to waste a whole bunch of time on the playthrough. So. The abnormal part about this game is to get Mario to move fast, you have to make him spin. So he spins around everywhere. It's faster than running. This is running, this is spinning. And then the castle starts to shake and rises up above the ground. As usual, this is just another one of Bowser's dumb plans. Put his castle under Princess Peach's castle. I don't know if the pe people that built it would have noticed the castle right under it already. Maybe dug a huge hollow space, but now then the castle would fall through before Bowser's was built. Or maybe he just put it under there right away. Anyway, unaware that they're way up in space, is Princess Peach is confused and. And Bowser breaks the window. I guess opening the door wouldn't be very evil of him. Yeah, Bowser's right. There is nothing you can actually do here to win. You just keep attacking him, he keeps attacking you, and you can see the rest when it happens. It's 
no action commands at the start of the game, you just have to learn it later on. It's before chapter one is over though. So you don't have to go too long without it. It's kind of annoying when you're used to pressing the button right on time and it doesn't do anything. Now I won't have to hold the controller at the same time as the controller because I moved my bed back a little and put a huge pile of books and video games and that's three damage and then I just put the camera right on top of the pile and it's positioned pretty good not perfectly but and Bowser stole a star rod so you can't damage him in any way and he does three times as much damage lame Bowser even though he's another normal attack will kill me he just has to show off and burn me and Princess Peach who's right behind Mario engulfed in flames is completely uninjured by that Yeah, I forgot to mention it before, but that is what the Star Rod does. It just doesn't... Uh, you can do whatever you wish you want. That's why if I could have any fictional item, I would definitely take that one. You can get any other items you want if you had it. I don't get why they see the need to put the name of the game right in the middle of playing the game. Do you just download a random game on the internet or something and then, oh, thanks for telling me what game I'm playing. I had no idea. I just thought Mario got flattened in one of his other games. And so did everyone else. Alright, at the end of this scene, I'll probably end the part. It's ending up to be a bit longer than I planned. The part should average be about seven and a half minutes because I want to do two parts at once and my camera only has 15 minutes on it. Panicking back and forth isn't going to help anything. Why don't you bring me to the hospital? Alright, we'll see the rest of this scene in a